what I'd hope people might experience is as they wander through the park that something might catch their eye in a peripheral way, in a, in a quiet way. We're here in University Square on um, Wurundjeri and Woiwurrung land. So the, the process of um, creating this artwork came about through a very unique and wonderful experience of two-week intensive workshop with Melbourne City Council where all sorts of people came together and to kind of find out what the site was about. Working through this project, I was really privileged to meet a number of Indigenous knowledge holders and elders like Nawi Carolyn Briggs and Jaffa Greenaway and others that have sort of really um, were generous in sharing their knowledge of the site, which gave us a kind of a really different perspective of what what this place is in time and uh, in deep time. I think this um, project relates to my all my practice in the sense that I've always been interested in belief systems and um, superstition and so in a sense the the apparition is something that's you know it's connected to you know all through my practice but I think what's different here is I've had an opportunity to really extend it into a whole new materiality of um, you know animated projection so with the, the decision to make an animated possum, I then had to find an animator. And luckily I work at RMIT, which actually has a media communications department. And there happens to be some of the best animators in the country working in there and discovered Gina Moore, who has a special gift for animal animations as she comes from a kind of painting background. And she has a deep love of animals that she, um, she was the perfect person to work with because she sort of can really breathe life into these creations that are, you know, they, they become sort of supernatural um, creatures that have a, a really particular quality. And I think ghosts and apparitions have a way of kind of carrying stories and memory from one generation to the next. And so working with all that kind of um, history of you know an idea of the ghost or the apparition and but then creating a possum out of nothing it, it seemed appropriate in the end that the, it was an animation rather than photographic footage of a real possum that it was something that was brought almost a, a, an apparition from the future back to the present somehow so I think the, some of the experience of making a public work here has been um, different to other aspects of my practice. Public art, I guess, it should always be contentious. I mean, anything. It, it should be there to kind of stir things up, create conversation. Um, but I think what's nice about public art is that it, it's in a space where you can happen upon it, where it's not framed by a gallery necessarily or a you know a lot of knowledge like you know anyone can come up to it and it can be a bit of a reality shifter they they perform a function that's nothing else can there's nothing else like it there's you know we have architecture and we have landscapes and we have parks and we but public art just in, asserts a kind of a different reality into into a city or that i think is really important